picks right now. I'm psyched to see Benoit Saint Denis get back in the octagon after beating uh, Ismael Mecheta Bonfim. This is the test. This is the test because what do we say? We think that he is the dark horse, lightweight contender, all right? But Tiago Moises, he beat Mazuki Alcosta and Christos Yagos. And he's getting, like, this is this is a great fight, perfect time, because two young dudes that are trying to solidify themselves in this division. And it's going to be wild, because no matter where this fight goes, I feel like it's pretty even. I don't know, like, where I'm at with this on the feet. Like, I feel like this is a seriously 50-50 coin flip. But at the end of the day, I just don't see a lot of guys getting Benoit out of there. It seems like whenever somebody tries to shoot on him, he reverses positions and gets in an advantageous position. It seems like whenever somebody just tries to stand in there and brawl with him, they get a little bit sketched out because they're like, okay, this guy should be going down by now. Huh? <laughs> but they, he doesn't yeah. go down. And also, I love this matchup. And I also love Benoit because this dude's special because he brings the heat. Like, mm-hmm. you, you know those special matchups when guys meet in the center of the octagon and the action starts right away. There's not a lot of feeling out at the beginning. And Beaumont doesn't do that. He starts throwing his body kicks, starts pinning you up against the octagon, not afraid to eat a few shots to land his own. And so it's just going to be crazy, this fight, because I can see Tiago Moises getting on a backpack here and try to sub him. And then Benoit, miraculous getting out of it. And then, like, all of a sudden, it's like a slugfest. But I think no matter where this fight goes, it's going to be extremely high level. And this is the fight to watch for me. This is the Dana White, if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> That's what it is. That's exactly what this fight is. So I'm pumped, and i not really sad. I mean, like, it sucks that both these guys have to fight because I like both of them. But yeah. we're riding with Ben Walk because I think he's got the skills to really go at the top. I don't, like, Tiago has shown to kind of, like, against Joel Alvarez, he has issues with a lot of length and reach. But Benoit is tough as nails, dude. So. I think he's also just going to go ham because it's, like, literally in his home country. So I feel yeah. like the vibes there are just going to be crazy that he is gonna have like so much more energy dude yeah like the last time he fought there he got a finish and it wasn't i think it was like gabriel miranda or somebody that he fought but it's gonna be the the atmosphere is gonna be whack for the last three fights especially when benoit starts to come out because i feel like that's like the dude yeah. that people are really around well, and then manon and manon yeah she's right there like she wins this fight she's gonna be fighting um